Good afternoon, welcome back to my YouTube channel, um, Self Defence Martial Arts. I'm going to be doing uh, a couple of Gracie Jiu Jitsu stand up uh, moves today, the takedowns, where somebody throws a hook punch at you and you can uh, defend yourself and take the opponent down to the ground. I know you want to be standing um, a lot in a fight, but it's best to um, you know be standing, but just in case. You know, you take you have to take them down to the ground, but obviously you have to you have to get back up as soon as possible because you don't know if you've got friends with them, mates, or whoever with them. So well, this is going to be a good tool to do when somebody throws a hook punch here, instead of like throwing, you know, obviously like your wedge wedge shot and obviously your, you know your, your covers and stuff like that to block. So we're well, going to start off here. So hands up like that, hands out as usual. So I'm going to step uh, with my right leg like that. I'm going to cover there like that, like a boxing cover. Wrap the body, pull in like that. Step my left leg, then kick and right leg, kick back up like that, like I'm kicking my backside like that, like I'm like I'm throwing like a knee, like a like a um a knee shot. There, they go to the ground. So obviously front to the ground, and obviously you've got the punches like that, and obviously your palm strikes, elbows or. Uh, Griller punches, hammers to, to finish the, uh, the opponent off, okay? Right. So, here, there, there, here, kick back up, and obviously when they're on the ground, explosive punches, palm strikes, you know, that to finish it off, okay? So, make sure you have your hands up as well, they have your hands down, because obviously if you, if you uh, misjudge that punch, they can knock you out. So make sure your hands are up so you've got some kind of protection, you know, or and that. So we're just in case they throw obviously when they throw it, you, you can you can cover obviously like that. So one there, make sure it's nice and tight, hook there, like that, pull in, like that, make sure that's nice and tight. There, step to the uh, forward with my left leg, kick back up the right, and down. Okay. So one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Next one I'm going to do is called a body fold takedown. Same principle when you go there, here, here, and there. But this time instead of doing the you know the, the, the left leg forward and obviously the right leg to kick back up. So as soon as I feel that person move, I'm going to push my body forward and go here like that and push. My body forward like that, see? So there, like that, here, there, wrap it in tight. As soon as you feel the move, the person move, push forward like that. And on the ground, and like I say, punching again, like that. It's obviously to finish the fight. Hammers, or you can do elbows, it depends which one to do on your preference, okay? So I'll just do a little bit of an add on on that one. So one, there. Two, three. Now, if you want to do throw an extra punch in or, or throw an extra strike in or anything like that, well, I would say a punch because obviously my hands are there. Well, you can do a punch, but it look a bit awkward. So I can throw a headbutt in now. I can throw that headbutt and go boom like this and throw that headbutt in if you want to. Like that, or I can throw a palm strike now to that, to that person there. There. Then I can do obviously do the body throw take that take down. So one, there. There, and if you want to, you can either, uh, I'll say, probably use that strap there to hit him like that, or you could even use that top of that hand to strike him there. Then, obviously, then you've got the body throw take down to, uh, to take him down. Exactly the same thing with the other one. So, one, two, three, there, throw that headbutt in, set forward, kick back up, and then down on the ground. Okay. So that comes very handy when you're outside and somebody throws a hook punch at you and instead of blocking or moving out the way you can do that to take them to the ground but if you do take them to the ground though just be careful because obviously because like I say you could be anybody around there with him you know his friends or anything like that so what I do obviously I do obviously it's just there, 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 there. then kick back up so as soon as they go to the ground like that so as soon as they go to the ground, I want to go, I want to check everywhere first, like that. Obviously hit them a couple of times and check everywhere, like that. Look, look at my surroundings, 
and so that because anybody can come around that way or that way or behind you give you a boot in the head or boot in the body or anything like that so i want to i'll use i'll probably do a couple of strikes to to finish them off then then obviously i'm like that then get back up like that and back up like this and i'm moving around i'm looking if there's anyone around me you see because just say if you're focusing on that person on the floor and obviously you're you're punching him like that and you're not looking around anywhere and obviously he's smash, smashing him with any kind of shots, any hammers, obviously palm strikes, punches, etc, etc. All it, all it takes for somebody just to randomly just come up to me and give, give you a, a punch or a kick from blind side. He probably could come around here and smack me like that or something like that. So I want to make sure I'm looking around like that. Obviously concentrate on him. So even if I put my, even if I strike him like that, and I put my fingers in his eyes like that and he can't see me so now I'm looking around now making sure like that my surroundings you know are good and nobody's going to come around and attack me okay so that's a good one to do as well All right so that's the uh, two jiu jitsu moves um, from the uh, the, uh, the Gracie, Gracie, sorry, Gracie jiu jitsu takedowns there uh, come very handy one day if you need it and uh, like I say though, um, I want to keep standing and I don't want to really go on the floor if possible. But if you have to go on the floor, you have to go on the floor. But like you say, me on the floor, check your surroundings. Uh, you have to don't know if you've got a weapon on them. You don't know anything. So that's why I was like this. And I was like, so now I was looking around, you see, you know, just in case anybody's there. Anybody sneak attacks you and tries to punch you or kick you. I've seen it loads of times in, when I go clubbing. I've seen somebody get on the, uh, if, if a fight goes on the floor, somebody just randomly walks up and goes, da -da -da -da, and boom, like that, and kick you, or, or, or come around and blindside you and smack you that way, or anything like that. I've seen it loads of times. So you've got to make sure you know your surroundings when, if, if you take the opponent down to the ground, okay? But uh, like I say, though, 99.9% of the time I want to be standing. Obviously, I want to be, you know, standing up, and I, d I don't want to be really be on the ground if possible, but... Um, like I was doing a bit ago with, with Jack doing some uh, B, uh, BJJ grappling just in case that you do go on the ground and it's just a one on one fight which is, is very rare, it is a one on one fight but just say if it's a one on one fight and he's like, obviously he's faffing around that like fish out of water and obviously you're going to tie that person out and then before you finish the fight you can put him into a lock or, or you can like just basically strike him and, and just move around with him you know, like it's basically like playing chess. So basically, like I said before, you got to think about what move you're going to do on the opponent. So if if you're very relaxed and you're very calm and you're not struggling, you know, like going ooh, like this strength, strength, and you're trying to like get see who's the strongest person and trying to like do this and do that, you're going to tire out quick. So if you're like this and you're flowing it like that, you're flowing it, and then you're going, you know, you you're changing positions and you you. You know, you obviously throw a couple of hits in, you move, you change position from mount position to side position, or to scarf and, you know, and stuff like that. And that, that person's going to get tired out quick because they're going to be gassed out because they're going to be panicking. Nobody wants to be on the ground. They want to be standing up. Nobody wants to have somebody on, on top of them in the mount position, which is the, the mount one is the worst to be on. Or any kind of position, scarf position, side position, guard position. You know, you want to be standing up. You don't want to be on the ground, do you? You want to be, you know, back on your feet and you want to be ready. You don't want to be messing around on the ground and stuff like that. But, but on that other video, though, if you notice, like I said before, I was I was calm and I was I was flowing it and I was like doing this and I wasn't really doing any effort into it. But that is better than going mm -hmm, like this and you're like trying to push them off that way or move around that way and, and you're trying to do this and you're trying to grab the groin or you're trying to grab the eyes or anything like that which you'll probably get anyway but you know so if you're flowing it you're not going to get gassed out as quick as they are because they will get gassed out and I've actually done like a demonstration well I haven't shown you but I did it a while back where um, I was the calm person and obviously the other person was aggressive and was like mm -hmm, like this and like trying to fight and move around i was like just built obviously calm and i was like flowing it and the person got gassed out quick because obviously he's using his boot strength to try and push you off that way or push you off that way or move you off that way or move you off that way or etc etc and i'm just going like that and obviously i'm flowing it 
It's a bit like, um, I don't know if anybody knows, a bit like Tai Chi, because obviously Tai Chi does this, don't they? they go like, they go, they do this and that, then, then it goes really flowing. I mean, I can't really do it. I've never done Tai Chi, but it's like, is it like that or something they do? Where they move around and it's like slow motion and stuff like that, and they, you know, and it's all stuff like that they do. But that, it's like the same principle as Jiu Jitsu. Because obviously, when I first started Jiu Jitsu, obviously you're going to be like a bit like that. You'll be like, oh, I don't like anybody on top of me, or I don't like anybody, you know, on my side uh, position, or um, uh, anywhere like that, you see, guard or anything like that. Especially you panic more on, on, um, on, on uh, mount position, because mount position is the, probably the worst one to be in. Because somebody's on top of you and, and they can punch in your face in and stuff like that and you want to get out of there quick but when i first started bjj i was a, a little bit like that i was like oh you know i was out of my comfort zone i'm thinking you know i don't like this but as soon as i started to get into it and into it i started to relax more and i started to think right don't get tensed up so much don't um you know try and do brute strength and push him off and push him off and you got to flow like you say you got to flow it if you flow it, that'd be great. But obviously, other people uh, won't basically won't much know don't really much know about it, uh, groundwork anyway. So they'll think like, okay, then they'll do that. Like I say, do that, move off. Especially if somebody gets somebody's back, they'll be like this, be like that, flapping like that. They'll be like that, flapping, and nobody wants somebody's back on you. You know, you don't get them into an RNC or or even any kind of choke to choke them out or anything like that. So, and I think probably, I say probably. The mount position, probably somebody getting your back is probably the worst two positions to be, uh, because if someone's got your back, obviously you know you can't really do much because you back you got your back to them to the opponent, and you're trying to move and all that. But they can get, obviously get you in that choke. That's the first thing they'll probably do is wrap your legs around and get you in that choke. So obviously that's where you got to defend your neck, like I showed you before. But it's a different one. But like I say the mount and the um, somebody getting your back is it's probably the two worst ones out of. Uh, uh, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, for me anyway. But the others are not too bad. Side positions are alright and uh, guards are alright. It's just them two and that because as soon as, as soon as if anybody gets me in my back, obviously my the back, obviously I'm like I said I'm going to be defending my neck like that, be like that, defending because I know they're going to, I know nine times out of ten they're going to go in for that choke and try and choke me out. But I know I'm going to have to defend my neck and do this. Like that and obviously like I can say when it, when it, if it push the leg off and obviously go around, but in the in the mount position, somebody wants to try and punch you, then you punch your face in like this, and you obviously want to, you know, defend it and and or, and just get out of there quick. You don't want to stand there messing around. You want to get out of there quick, and it's horrible. Um, mount position is I say probably the mount position is probably the worst one, but but the other one, taking your back is not far off, but. Um, because you haven't got, see, on your back, you can still move now, but you haven't got somebody on top of you like, trying to really punch your face in, aren't you? And you like, go boom, trying to punch your face in. Especially if he's like an heavier guy as well. If he's a big guy, say about 18, so he's trying to really, he's trying to uh, really cave your face in and do this and try and smash your face in, that's going to be horrible and it's going to be a nightmare. So that's why you've got to get out of there quick, as, as soon as possible, and, you know, and, and uh, try and finish the fight off possible. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a chat about you know about bits and bobs about the jiu-jitsu as well and that um yeah so if i can try and fit that other video in for you i can um you know about the uh, carly sticks if i can do that if not i'll have to do another one when i get back over on holiday because i'll be doing lots of training when i go on holiday anyway and i'll be obviously doing some more videos on my channel and that and it all helps so uh so cheers again, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you again in another video hopefully today. Uh, like and subscribe please, uh, comment, uh, share, uh, any questions you want to ask me, I'm here to help as like I say before, I'm here to help you, <coughs> respectful comments as always, no stupid comments or, or pathetic comments or anything like that like, like people are doing before. Otherwise, you won't get answered, um, and that. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back onto my packing in a minute now. So I'm almost finished. I'm super excited. I'm buzzing now. Quite buzzing a bit. I'll be even more buzzing in the morning before I go back to my, back uh, back to me over uh, home. So I've got another home, you see. So I'm going back there, and uh, and that. So uh, yeah, 
super excited, super buzzing for tomorrow morning and that. So thank you very much for watching, like I say, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Hope you're having a lovely afternoon, and I'll see you again hopefully later on in another video. Take care and bye always, and have a good one. Bye.